eating of ships, like the ocean, and having to travel a lot, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just a lot of water, <laughs> just like, yeah. maybe fishes, right? Hi, uh, I'm Sarah. So basically, I support the learning, training, development um, function in SPO, which is Swire Pacific Offshore. I think it's a, it's a general perception um, of the industry. Because I think that's what has been portrayed. Like if you simply just Google marine, I think that's what you're going to get, right? Like vessels and vessels. And, and, and of course, when you think of vessels, you think about ocean. But I think in itself, it's always people. Because only when you have the people, then you get things moving whether it's a company goods or even like running a vessel itself. What made you join the maritime industry? It's really because of the unknown. Like I didn't really know a lot about the industry and I was really curious about it. You are from legal, right? So um, we do have like laws that help to govern like the maritime industry. So basically protecting the company like legally from like any dispute. And for communications, I think we do have a department called Corporate Communications where we deal with like, you know, internal and external communications. I was in a psychology major. So I first started with like the crewing. So basically they hire and manage like sea staff, you know, from there. And then I also transited into um, onshore staff HR where I was doing learning and development. So in that sense, um, I think SPO really supports like your career development and transition through as long as you are willing and they recognize like the different Different, like skill sets and achievement and knowledge that you have. Okay. Is it good? Yes. Yay!